would you like to hear a very sad story? Alright, it's not that sad. And it does have a happy ending. But, basically, um, I picked up Final Fantasy XIV uh, back in 2018, 2019. And uh, that was on the PlayStation 4. And I made uh, some... I started making content on it when I started my channel in 2020. And I made some content last year in 2021. And I reviewed... Um, the latest expansion, Endwalker, at the beginning of this year. I uh, played through that and thought it was phenomenal. It's a fantastic MMO and, in my opinion, the best one out there on the market. And, as you can gather from this footage of me running around with my new character, um, I'm still playing it. However, new character, uh, my account got hacked and all of my uh, DLCs, uh, my character, everything was gone. It basically stripped it back, so it made it look like all my channel... Uh, my channel, excuse me. All of my account had was the free trial version. But I couldn't use it. And at the risk of it getting hacked again, I ha I made a, a new Steam account. <laughs> I had to make a new Steam account. And I've made a new Square Enix account. And I now have a, a Steam account specifically for Final Fantasy XIV. And that is what is happening here. Now, I suppose you're wondering, why on earth are you going back in? If you if I got hacked, why would I bother going back? And the reason is because recently, over the last couple of weeks, I have tried going back to World of Warcraft. Uh, Blizzard Entertainment even gave me Shadowlands for free and a, a, a level 50 character boost. And I've tried. I really have. But unfortunately, World of Warcraft is no longer for me. Uh, I think personally, if you I mean, if you are a fan of World of Warcraft, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Knock yourself out. If you love the game, that's all that matters. But for me personally, um, it bores me. Uh, I don't think the dungeon's very good. I think the community is very toxic. Um, and just... It, it's, it feels and looks old now. And not in the good way. Um, and Final Fantasy XIV uh, just ruined me for other MMOs, unfortunately. So I thought, sod it. So I've picked up the free trials up to level 60 through uh, Realm Reborn and Heavensward. Um, so I'm going to go through that. And then I will rebuy the full game, which is priced at only 35 quid for all the DLC. I mean, come on, that is a steal. I know you still got to pay monthly subscription, but the content you get in Final Fantasy XIV is immense. And I'm back in Eorzea and just being back... I'm gonna obviously I've got to play through the story again, but it's fine because I'm, I'm it's a really good story anyway. All right, Realm Reborn starts is quite slow and uh, it gets much better in Heaven's Word and Stormblood, Shadowbringer, and so on and so forth. You know, so it does get better. That's the that's the good thing. Um, but seriously, Final Fantasy XIV just has phenomenal music, phenomenal gameplay. It looks great. So much content for you to get stuck into. Um, the community is more helpful than not you do get the occasional douche nozzle don't get me wrong but i find them more helpful than not i mean i mean it's fine for me although i'm a new character running around um i'm i've, I've put hundreds of errors into the game so i i know what i'm doing but sometimes people think that i'm a noob noob which is fine um, but i'd say thank you very much but i'm not um i am gonna start streaming the game pretty much nearly every day if i can so if you happen to watch this video i might be streaming live right now and if you ever want to stop by and hang out whilst playing final fantasy 14 that would be incredibly awesome uh, and i'd love to see you there but yeah it it feels good to be back in eorzea and um i can't wait to continue on to get through and play through endwalker again uh get to the other side i'm gonna play as um i'm gonna play jobs that i've never i've not played before i've started as a lancer so i'll have changed that one into a dragoon later on and um i might even try gunbreaker this time because i, I didn't even give that one a, a chance um i did start playing as a, a, a reaper uh before my account disappeared uh so i i definitely want to finish off and, and be a reaper when i get there but yeah um i played what uh an hour and a half of it on stream the other day uh my, like my I, after i got through the beginning bit on my own and then started the stream after the intro um that hour and a half all i was doing was side quests and that was it i did a few of the main quests but i was just doing side quests and some of the hunting log as soon as i unlocked that and i was having a blast i was loving every single minute of it and like i said and i know there's a couple of people who's recently subscribed to me due to world of warcraft streams and if you're watching, I do apologise, I am so sorry, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing any more World of Warcraft content. Um, and that's fine, that's okay, because there are plenty of 
content creators out there that love World of Warcraft and do World of Warcraft content all the time. And, you know, good luck to them and good luck to everyone who loves World of Warcraft. And I hope the next expansion does what you want it to do. But I am a Final Fantasy fourteen guy through and through and have been for, se for, for several years. But I've rambled on for far too long as it is. I'm going to be making some more Final Fantasy fourteen content uh, anyway. So uh, please check that out if you feel inclined to. Um, but thank you very much for watching the video. And please let me know in the comments down below if Final Fantasy fourteen is your jam. Or if there's another MMO that you prefer. Uh, Guild Wars 2 is now available through Steam. So you don't have to go to their website. Which makes it much more accessible to the wider market. So I hope that does really well. Because it is a great MMO. But thank you very much for watching the video. And I'll catch you on the next one.